Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you guys and we are going to be making some homemade nut milk. And it's actually super easy. This shouldn't be a very long video at all. Um, and this is a really fun thing to do as well. So what I've done is I've soaked a cup of nuts. I'm using almonds, but you can do cashews, walnuts, pistachios. You can even do it with oatmeal. Uh, so pretty much anything goes with regards to what choice of protein you're going to make your nut, uh, your nut milk with. Um, and then I'm also choosing to sweeten my milk. You don't have to. You can do it just plain almonds if you'd like. But I like to use two dates uh, with the seed removed just to give it a little bit of an extra uh, sweetness. And then what I'm going to do is basically combine the nuts with four cups of fresh water, filtered water, in my Vitamix. I'm going to uh, blend it until everything's kind of dissolved. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use a nylon to strain the pulp from my milk. Now I discovered this trick, it works wonders um, because I didn't have a nut milk bag. And this is pretty cheap, but this works really well and most of us have nylons in our closets that we don't really wear, so then we can bring better use to them. Uh, so I'm just going to bring the camera a little bit closer and show you guys how I do this. Okay, so I'm all set up here. So I've strained the cup of almonds and I'm going to pour that into my Vitamix. And I'm choosing to do four cups of water, but you can vary the amount of water you want to add in. This will change the thickness of your milk. So I think that most people do three to four cups of water to add into your almonds. So you can experiment and kind of see what you prefer um, and kind of maybe even taste test with three before you strain your milk uh, to see if you wanna add a fourth cup. I just want a larger quantity, so I'm doing four. So I'm just using my filtered water here from the Brita machine. Okay. I'm going to pit my two dates. Plump that in there. Okay, now I'm going to put the lid on and blend. Okay, so this looks good. I blended it for about a minute. Um, and so you're going to remove this. I forgot to mention you're gonna want a big bowl to strain your milk into. So I got my big bowl. And now with the uh, fun part of the whole thing is I'm just going to open this up. I wonder if I can, I probably can't. I was going to see if I could stretch the nylon up over the bowl, but it's too tight. Um, but I'm just going to remove the lid and start pouring my milk into this nylon here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have to kind of stretch it. Okay. This looks good. looks pretty funny okay great I'm just gonna toss that into the sink okay and so now with my nylon filled with milk I'm just going to squeeze it down so you can see And you're just going to literally squeeze this bag and basically milk it all out. So you can actually experiment quite a lot with uh, like making homemade nut milk at home. I have quite a few recipes on my website 
ranellb.com. Um, but I've really enjoyed making nut milks with um, adding citrus and cloves to it, spices like cinnamon to make some sort of like a chai latte um, kind of a milk. Or you can even just put fresh strawberries and make a strawberry milk with cashews. Um, so really the possibilities are endless and um, it is much healthier to make it yourself than to always be buying it from the store um, and cheaper too. I mean, you can get nuts from Bulk Barn or uh, wherever really and you only need a small amount and it does yield quite a lot of milk. So just something to consider. And so this is starting to look pretty good. Now the reason why I say to store the pulp is that you can actually make some really great desserts like raw vegan desserts with the pulp um, to make some sort of a pie crust or things like that. So we're maybe going to have a recipe of that soon coming up. So what I'm going to do now is I have to find a way to funnel this into here. Mm. I think pouring the bowl may be a little bit too messy, so I'm going to actually use my juicer cup with a better spout. Let's pray that this is smooth. I tend to be a messy chef. Okay, so now we've got our almond milk. Voila, and we pour. Oh, it's perfect. Love it. Okay, great. And voila, homemade almond milk. Let's do a taste test. I've been using a lot of jars as cups lately. <laughs> yep, it's great. It's a little warm because of the Vitamix and I put it for a minute and the Vitamix, if you've ever used one, heats up real quick. But no, this is great. Um, and so I hope that you enjoy doing your own almond milk and you found this video helpful. Have a good one, guys. Bye.